Alright. Meow. Yay. That piece is done. It's not 100% perfect. Although I wish it were. I kind of pressed it down because when you get to the bottom and you've got all your wire wrapping, you have this little piece that's left that you've got to pinch in so that you don't have a sharp end right here. This little piece right here. And that's usually the hardest for me because I've just got needle nose pliers. I don't got like bent nose, chain nose, uh, whatever else they've got out there on the market, I don't know. But I work with what I got and I've I've got to learn. All right, now the next step they say is you bring this down over your fingers. So you've got to bend this forward. You bend this forward. Whoops, I'm sorry, I was out of the frame. Um, like that. And then you're going to use your finger as your guide and you bend it over your finger like this so that you're making it kind of a rounded and then you kind of push it and set my new my needle nose pliers down and then you're going to push it up against the back because you're making a bail And then that piece that you got left over is what you're wrapping around here. So I've got to try to fix my bail a little bit because I squished it too far in. So I've got to lift it up just a smidge. I want to make it, whoops, I'm so far in you can't see, I'm sorry. Oh no, I dropped it. Sometimes, uh, once it's already together, I can make it just a smidge bigger. Try sticking that in there. And pinch around it. This is the round nose pliers. That might help make my bail just a little bit more rounded in the back instead of so yeah that helped I think that helped more so we can get it looking more like a a bail versus a Just a smidge in closer. Pull that out like it was supposed to be. Because you're wanting it pinched in so that when you wrap that other wire, it's going to go around the bottom. So we are going to take this little wire here that we have going this way and bring it around and go around it. Now don't fret, we probably should have left more, but that's okay because I've got a cure for that one. <clears throat> You can't leave any in the front. Then this is the front of the piece, so you can't have the wire showing. I usually just give a little tuck to that wire underneath so it doesn't show under there. This is where it gets tricky. Got to get that to go underneath. The 
here. Sneaky. Where are the rings? Oh, there it goes. It went under. Went underneath there. All right. Not to fear that you don't have enough there because you've got multiple wires all over the place here. You've got these right here that need a place to go. And you got these two out here. All of these are gonna be embellishing wires. These, these four and these two are are used as embellishing wires, but you can also use them to come around and wrap around here. So we will need to have two of the, we can use two of those to wrap around here. I do that a lot. And then just use these two for our embellishments. Now, what we've got to do before we wrap our stone in is we double check here. Um, let me find that where we can focus. Is I double check my lines and make sure my lines, my three lines here, are still straight, that I haven't bent them to kingdom come. <laughs> that happens when you're twisting wires around and stuff. So you wanna make sure all your wires are straight. And if any of them aren't, you just kinda of come up here and give them a little twin pinch here and bring them back, cause those weren't quite still straight. So you just kinda of pinch them back out. Now you can help yourself out in this little organization here and you're going to have to use uh, these wires when you get your stone in here so what you can do is start start the uh, process of pulling these out just a smidge so you'll be able to get a hold of them because when your stone's inside there you won't be able to do that as easily so we need to get a hold of these one and pull it apart just a smidge so your needle nose and pliers will be able to grasp that. All right, now the front was right here. Okay. And I just got to remember which was the long side and the front side and the back side here. Patience is a virtue here. To remember which was the front of the stone, the back of the, you know, which was your front, which was your back when you're pulling it in. Getting it fit in here. And you really do have to have patience doing this. Don't get in a hurry and overexcited. Yeah, let me get this just whoops. All right, let me fix my little, I just got a picture frame holder from the store that I'm using to hold this up. But it works. All right. Well, looks like we've almost got it all in right. Oh, oh, let me make sure the bottom's good. Make sure the bottom's good on here. There we go, the bottom's good. Sides. Yeah, and the top. All right, we do the back first. We pull the, grab our pliers here. Well, we try to anyway. And you you can either do this with your fingernails, but you're supposed to be able to do it with your fingernails. I sometimes end up with my fingernails being broke all over the place when I do that. But you're supposed to be able to twist these out artistically. One side. And do that to the other side. I'm gonna spin this over because we gotta do the other side. We grab the third wire, the back wire here. So we grab this one right here. 
it's going to go to the back and we bring it forward and that locks in the back of the stone so that it doesn't fall out. Now we have to do that to the front of the stone, making sure that everything's in its place. All right, now we hold the front of the stone, hold everything in its place, and we look for the, the, the first wire. And we're gonna grab the first wire And we're going to bring that forward, patience, and we're going to make a little cage here. Do the other side. where you have your artistic style. Now you want to give a twist because, let me get this over the stone though first. I'm trying desperately not to scratch the stone, not to mess up the metal. Now we can come over and do the same over here. And that is... Whatever the stone is is harder than a than than the iron the steel the hardened steel <laughs> on the most scale that's a good thing because it isn't scratching the stone yay all right so now let's just make sure all of our little you just make sure this wire is in the center I like to make sure things nice and centered and Good. Everything's where it needs to be. Nice and pretty. Now everything's nice and in its place. I like the fact that this wire has some give to it. You can kind of push everything in its place. Your little embellishment there. Now, see, it won't fall out. Now, as you can see, we still got a little bit of room up at the top there that you can see through. Right up here at the top. That's not really something we want, so what I'm going to do is take these last wires that we have. 